Hey guys, Coach Thad here coming at you with Tuesday's workout. It's going to be a good one. No burpees, no thrusters like yesterday, so it's going to be fun. All right, I promise. Uh, we're going to get started though with a little mobility. And the first one is going to be the, the pec stretch on a wall or, you know, if you have a post, whatever it is. Uh, but we're going to set up, try to get that elbow at about the same height as your nose. And then you'll step into it, feel a nice stretch through that chest. We're going to hold one minute on one side, then we'll switch. We'll do a minute on the other. Uh, and then next, we're going to roll out our, our lats, so the back. Uh, again, foam roller, rolling pin, whatever you've got. We're going to go down. And again, when we do these, I don't recommend actually rolling like this. Uh, what I find works a little bit better is if you lay on a spot and then just kind of move side to side like that. And then after, you know, maybe 15, 20 seconds, then move it to a different position. That works really well. You can really feel it kind of break up that tissue. Um, so minute on one side, minute on the other. Um, as always, if you want to go a little bit longer on each one, you can. If you want to add extra things, definitely go for it. Um, and then you guys do the general warm up uh, and the floor routine. And then we're going to get into some strength work today uh, for the upper body. Going to kind of do things a little bit different. Uh, the first is we're going to do a, a bridge floor press. We did these sort of like this uh, a couple times ago where we, we had our back uh, positioned on like a bench or a chair. Um, today we're gonna do it just flat on the ground. I like this for two reasons. Number one, um, everybody has access to this, right? We all have a floor. It's a lot easier to get set up on than a, a bench or a chair. But then also the angle is gonna actually give us a little bit of like we're, uh, like we're on a, a, a decline bench. So just kind of a little different feel for the workout, uh, but I'll show you how we set up for it. So we're gonna be on the ground. We'll get in that bridge position. So pushing our butt up as high as we can. And then we've got our floor press. And today I'm asking you guys to give me 20 on one side and 20 on the other. Um, they definitely don't have to be unbroken. If you need to chip away at them, you can. Um, if you wanna go, you know, max out on one side and then if it's not quite 20, you max out on the other and then go back to the first side and finish it. Uh, whatever you need to, but we gotta get 20 on each side. And then we're gonna do some dumbbell rows. We're gonna make these a little bit different too this week. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little isometric hold to it, okay? So what we'll do is you guys will start in your normal setup and you're gonna pull it up and you're gonna hold it. So it should be right up at, you know, the, the dumbbell should be right at my ribs and hip. And I'm gonna hold for 10 to 20 seconds, okay? So 10 to 20 seconds. Uh, obviously if you can make 20, go for it. Once you guys get to that 10 to 20 seconds, then, we start our 10 repetitions, okay? So it's gonna be a 10 to 20 second hold, just the beginning, and then 20 reps, boom. Okay, start with the weak side, then do the same thing with the strong side, okay? Um, and when we do this one, we're gonna go four sets. So we'll do our, our 20 floor presses each side, we'll jump right into those rows, and then we'll rest a minute before we start over. So we've got four sets of that, okay? Um, that'll be it for the upper body like strength piece. The workout is gonna be a fun one. We're gonna be doing some, uh, some handstand push-ups or whatever variation you can give me. Um, we're gonna be doing some V-ups. We're gonna do a brand new exercise that I'm gonna call uh, towel upright rows. It's kind of a play on an old school exercise. We've got sit-ups and then more handstand push-ups and then some jump rope or fast feet thrown in there. Okay, so I'll explain the flow of it, how it's gonna go, and then I'll explain how it should kind of feel and different ways we can scale it. Okay, so we're gonna start off we're gonna do 50 of your handstand push-up variations. So if you're a, just a flat out ninja, I'm recommending this first 50, let's try to do them strict, okay? If you can't do, um, do them strict all the way to the floor, we can add a pad if we need to. Um, I prefer that before we just go right into the kipping ones. But if you don't have any strict and you need to do kipping, that's fine. If we wanna go off a box, we can. If we wanna do strict dumbbell presses, we certainly can. Um, the, uh, I want you guys to try to shoot for the 50 reps. What I'm looking for, and I'll have it in the notes, is it should take you guys three to four minutes, um, basically, to get those first 50 reps, okay? Three to four minutes, okay? So don't feel like you need to scale the reps down to 20. Boom, you get all 20 in a row. No, no, it should be 50 reps. It should take about three to four minutes. The reason it should take about three to four minutes is when we're doing this workout, there's gonna be a little wrinkle that I'm gonna explain at the end, okay? Once you guys get through the 50 of the handstand push-ups, then we're gonna go to V-ups on the ground. We got 50 of those. Um, those should take anywhere from like two to three minutes, okay? 
Um, after those, then we're going to do the towel upright row. So, Bella, you want to come over here real quick? We'll just show them the setup. So, whether you got a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you guys will wrap a towel around that dumbbell, okay? Uh, and then here's what it looks like. You guys will start standing upright, arms totally straight, okay? So this is our starting position. And then using just our upper body, we're gonna pull that weight, just like that, okay? So what we're looking for is the hands should get up to the height of your collarbone. Boom, right there, okay? So you guys will do 50 of those. Those should be pretty heavy, they should be tricky. Um, those we're looking at, you know, two, three, four minutes, somewhere in there. Uh, once you guys finish those, then we've got 50 sit-ups. And then after the sit-ups, we're gonna finish with another 50 handstand push-ups. The only difference is if you are somebody who is doing strict at the beginning, I want you to go kipping uh, at the end. Okay, I want it to be a little bit, little bit quicker. Here's where the fun part, the wrinkle comes in. Your task obviously is to do the 50 of each thing in that order, but we're gonna start the workout and every single minute you guys are gonna give me 20 double unders, okay? Uh, if we're not doing full on 20, we can scale that down to 10 double unders. If we're doing single unders, it can be anywhere from 20 to 40. If we're doing fast feet, it can be 20. I'm gonna have in the notes that the jump rope portion, it shouldn't take you more than 30 seconds, okay? Because obviously if you're taking the almost the entire minute to do the jump rope, it doesn't leave you any time for the activity, okay? So again, you got your jump rope starting at the beginning of the workout and every single minute on the minute, okay? This workout, the kind of the, the time domain, how long it should take, anywhere from 12 to 20 minutes. I mean, we're gonna have people all over the place based on their gymnastics that they're choosing to do, their jump rope variation. Um, some of you might have some a little tougher time with that upright row because you gotta have your weight, um, but that's fine. Okay, so 12 to 20 minutes is kind of that area to be in. Again, there's no time cap since you are at home, um, but let's have some fun with this one, kind of some new movements in there. It'll be, uh, it'll be a good time. See you guys later.